Today I'm going to show you step by step how to make a thumbnail for your Etsy in Canva. First thing I'm going to do is go to create new design and I'm going to go to custom size and go to 570 and 456 pixels. Create new design. It's going to open up a new tab and this is the size that we're going to work with here. And if you have Rakuten, you can get 35% cash back on Pro, which I definitely recommend Canva Pro. I'll put a link down below and you can double dip. All right, so first thing, and I'm gonna do one for some printables that I've made. So I wanna have something in the background and I wanna do like a desk scene or, or a desk flat lay, just to kind of have something down. Let's see here, I want something kind of Kind of pretty, but not too overwhelming. Let's do this one. I'm just going to pull it down. No, I don't need it to go all the way up because I'm going to put a banner on top. Then I'm going to kind of edit the brightness a little bit. I want it a little, there we go. So it's going to be the background. Next thing I'm going to do is drop in my images for my product. Now I have two different images that I'm going to work with here. So I'm going to drop them both in. And I'm going to have a quarterly one here and then a monthly kind of on top. Now what I like to do is to make these pop is I'm going to go to edit image and go to shadows and glow. So we're going to do that. And that's going to help to make a pop. Then you can hit this little gear and you can adjust the size and the shadow, the blur, the transparency, all of that. But I definitely want them to, to pop a little bit so that you can see them. All right, we're going to do the same thing with this image here. And adjust it. And blur. Okay. Now, sometimes when we do that, it kind of distorts it. So as you can see, it totally distorted it. So what I do for this is I will just place another one right on top. And that way you still get the glow from behind, but you have a clear image. And then I can do this and I'm gonna position this forward. So it is on top here. And then I'm going to add one just to make it pop there. All right, so we have that. Then what I like to do is add a circle. And then this kind of, I can put some info in here. So I'm gonna go, we can move a little bit bigger here. I don't like that much space on pages and PDF. Bring this down a little bit. Okay, I like that. I like that. That ties in with the blue. Now let's add a banner. So I'm going to go lines and shapes. Just add a box here at the top to go across. And a little bit higher up. And I'm going to add a banner at the top. And go. Bill payment Oops. tracker. And this I just honestly just like play around with. And this we could even, this background, we could play with a different color. Mm. I like this, I don't like the contrast with the green though. But let's see if we can find a different a different flat way that doesn't have that green in it just because I feel like it kind of contrasts it. Or we could even do like a marble. This is sometimes what I do when I don't really see one that I like. This is always classic. I'm going to position this to back. Yeah, I like that. So there we go. That is our Etsy thumbnail. Another thing that you can do that I've done before, if you're just doing one, let me show you here. Okay, so we could also do one like, let me remove all of these. 
Let's do this one. This is really cool as well. So we have this here, and then what we can do is add our image. You add it right onto the clipboard. So it looks like they have the piece of the PDF clipped in. So you just want to make sure that the size is good and it's within the parameters of it and that everything is straight and lined up. But there you go. So there you can see when it's zoomed out, it doesn't look like it's just an image. That's super cute too. So that way you can like show your your product in use. You could do that as a extra example of your product in use as well, which is super cool. Or when you're creating it, you can do some examples on here and have that as it. Um, so if I go here, we're going to add a new page to duplicate it. All right, so let's go quarterly. So we could say taxes. Taxes amount, oh. uh, taxes, and I could say that amount is $467. The due date is the 15th. And then I could do, and then I could do elements, I could do a checkbox. Just a check. Okay, so this is, as you can see, very just off the cuff here. And this is how I make my thumbnails and stuff. All right, so we have it on as a little higher. All right, so we go to January, April. Okay, so here we have some examples. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this as a PNG, and this is page 49 and then I'm going to go back to here I'm going to delete this one then I'm going to go upload it and then shrink it down a little bit a tiny bit bigger There you go. So there you can see it kind of looks like you're using it in action of checking it off as you go. So that is a great way that you can use this as one of your product images as well right here in Canva. So you don't have to take physical pictures and print them out. You can do it right there in Canva. Check out all of my other Canva and Etsy tutorials. I have playlists on both of them and tons and tons of tutorials. Let me know what other tutorials you want me to make and I will be happy to make them in the comments. Yeah.